Hello and welcome to episode seven of the Your Way podcast. So the sound might be slightly different today because I am not at home. I'm on holiday and I thought I would bring you some of my holiday energy to chat about a couple of things. So one of the great things about this week is that I've had so much space to myself because I am here on my own other than teaching this month's Find Your Voice class on Tuesday and seeing a one-to-one client on Wednesday, it's been a work-free week. So if you can imagine like in a normal home environment, you'd wake up and there'd be family stuff to do and yada yada, you know how life works. Whereas here, I'm waking up at seven, I'm going to bed, I mean, early, eight, nine, but there's like 12, 13 hours to fill and there's been so much space. And as those of you who have given yourself space will know, in the space comes inspiration, ideas, thought processes, and all the rest of it. So what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about what I've been getting up to and why there is no perfect time to do anything. Um, And then I'm also going to chat to you a little bit about my new offer, Your Way, um, so that those of you who are interested or just a bit nosy about what I'm doing next can have um have a have a bit more knowledge about it so I am in Mallorca which is a little Spanish island one of the Balearics for those of you who aren't in Europe or aren't familiar and I've come here for a whole week just to myself and it's been absolutely glorious I did think the day before I thought oh there's going to be bits I'm sure there's going to be bits on this holiday where I feel really lonely, sad that I'm here on my own. I'm going to look at other couples. I'm going to wish that Nat was with me. Um, And no shade on Nat, but it just hasn't happened because even though the timing wasn't perfect for me going away, which I will come on to in a minute, I knew that I wanted this break. I've known for a long time that one of the things that I need to do for myself is to spend more time on my own, discovering who I am. You know, when you spend inordinate amounts of time in your life trying to be something else for someone else, and I'm not talking about my marriage now, I just mean historically, then that journey back home to yourself, it can take some time and there's different layers. Now, for me, I'm about all the layers, right? I just got to keep going. So having, having... alone personal time is so so important for that so I can get to know myself and what I need and what I want and what my desires are and where life is leading me at a whole deeper level so that has been great and it has been lovely and at the same time Nat is struggling at the moment you know the day before I left he actually asked his mum to come and stay so that he wasn't going to be on his own for a week because he was feeling a little bit anxious Now, the people pleaser in me, that person who is like, oh, I need to take care of the people, historically would have had a real hard time with that. But I've been doing quite a lot of work recently to understand that, yes, I want to care for other people. And of course, I want to care for my husband, but I have to care for myself first. And I have to remember that the, the person that I am responsible for is me. And the person who is responsible for him is right. And sometimes in society, we have this all a little bit mixed up. It's not to say that we don't care for our loved ones, but we can't be responsible and take on all of their stuff and stay healthy ourselves. It's just not how it works. If you have small, small children, the position is different. Otherwise, I don't think it is. Or, or kind of people who are really ill, the position might be different there. But otherwise... We are responsible for ourselves and other people are responsible for them for themselves. And when we can let go and let them do their work and follow their path and we can just do our work and follow our path, things get a whole lot easier. But a lot needs to happen in the in the in the gap. And these reflections that I've been having while I'm here also got me thinking about the perfect time, right? When is the perfect time to take a solo trip? Probably never, 
And while I've been here, and it always happens when I take time off, I've had a few people reach out to me to talk about either coming back and working with me or starting to work with me. And you often get this similar, um, a similar things come up for people because we're all human, we live in a human experience, but around maybe it's not the right time or they're going to wait or they're just going to see if they can do this thing a little bit differently or they're going to try a different program or they're going to do something else. Now, life is leading them to me. That's why they're reaching out to me. I'm not saying that life should lead everyone to me because I don't want that many clients. <laughs> but often we stop ourselves doing the things that we need. So that might be taking some time off work it might be going on a trip it might be getting more support it might be starting a new program it might be changing how you eat it might be starting a new health and fitness regime whatever right and we can always look at why it's not the right time well I won't start now but let's talk about like a health regime I won't start now because it's my birthday next week, so I'm going to go out for a meal then. Or then I've got this invite to this dinner party. And then, like, so now I'm recording this on the 20th of October. So, oh, it's like, like we've got a Halloween party next weekend. Oh, then I've got a Halloween party. And then for those of you in the States or who celebrate it generally, and then it's going to be Thanksgiving or Hanukkah or Christmas. And then oh, I might as well wait till January 1st. Oh, God, and January comes along and isn't January miserable. Why would you want to start depriving yourself in January? And so it's always this another time another time another time and you know so that's that tends to be the health one in personal development stuff none of us like parting with our money we all feel time straps already and so time and money become these big challenges and and so really my invitation is can you sink a layer below the now is it the right time or these are the reasons why I shouldn't do this thing or I'm not sure about this thing can you sink below that and allow yourself to follow where life is leading you. Because so often we want to push and we want to force and we want to make things happen. And yet, in the surrender, in the rest, in the slowing down, in the pausing, in all of that stuff that feels excruciating, because you have learned that you are not valuable if you are not pushing. In that space, in that space is where the magic happens. So my invitation to you is just to start noticing where is life leading you? What are you being drawn to? What are you desiring? And what is required from you so that you can lean into that? It's not so you can be fearless to lean into it because again, that's just the lie from the personal development industry. It will always feel scary to do a new thing. It will feel scary to embark on a new health regime. It feels scary to feel scary to go on holiday on your own for the first time ever, right? Even though it's a lovely thing to do, to go to the airport, to get on a plane, to have to do the transfers, do all of those things. You know, it will never stop feeling scary. The work is how do we build the capacity to do the thing anyway, knowing that it is for our greater good. And the same in the personal development space. None of us like handing over our money. <laughs> that never gets easier, by the way, right? But the point is just like, I'm doing this for my growth. I'm doing this for my benefit. I'm doing this for my health. And I'm going to trust, not necessarily I'm going to trust this person. But I'm going to trust me that I'm being pulled towards this thing. And that's what's right for me right now. So just some stuff for you to think about. Um and to contemplate. Now, we're now on episode seven. The podcast is called Your Way. If you're on my email list or you're on my social media, and if you want, go and find the show notes and do those things, then you will have heard me talking about Your Way for a while. And I know the first episode of this was talking about why I'm doing things your way and why I've changed it to your way. And now I'm very excited to tell you that I am ready to share more information about my new program, which hopefully is not going to be a surprise, is called Your Way. Okay, so Your Way is going to be a 12-month membership. And it's a membership that people can join at any point rather than a defined program. Because one of the things that I have disliked 
about running groups for the last, gosh, nearly four years now, is that when you have a defined group with a defined period, everybody has to start by a certain date. And there might be a little bits of flexibility in that date, but broadly, everyone has to start by a certain date. And so it doesn't really sit nicely alongside follow where life is leading you because that would be like, follow where life is leading you, but you need to join my thing by the end of July, <laughs> right? And it, it, it just doesn't feel quite right. And the more I am leaning into tuning into my natural rhythm, trying to be more in touch with nature, the rhythms of nature, what's going on outside, how do we bring that inside, all of that stuff, Having something that's so defined just doesn't feel good for me. So this is not a 12-month membership or a membership designed to be grown like one of those massive memberships with loads and loads of people in. I enjoy small, intimate spaces with small groups where I deeply know everybody. I can deeply support everyone. Everyone gets lots of me and everyone gets lots of support. That is not going to change here. Okay. But the idea of the membership is that people can come in at the point in time that it feels good for them, acknowledging what I just said about there's never going to be the right time. But people can come in as it feels good for them. And I'm going to talk about this in next week's podcast, but there's good reasons why it's the year, because transformation takes time. We all want the quick fix. Those of you who have come to my Find Your Voice class, we've talked about this. We all want the quick fix. The quick fix doesn't exist. And so it's a year to allow you to settle in and to allow me to guide you through all facets of life, work, um, health, so that you can explore all of these different areas Figure out how you want to approach them because it's your way, right? The clue is in the name, but also to really give you tools so that you can feel confident, so that you can trust yourself and you can bring all of who you are to all of life situations. Because when we can bring all of who we are, the amount of energy taken up in second guessing and trying to fit ourselves into a box and trying to figure out, well, what version of me do I need to be today in order to be palatable to this person? That all goes away. And we have got so much space then to step into whatever we're supposed to be here to step into. So it's a 12 month membership and we're gonna start on the 9th of November. And it is not lost on me that the last two months of the year are absolutely manic. There's loads going on, people are feeling stressed, they're feeling tired. We're in the winter if we were in the Northern Hemisphere and it's just draining, right? It is just draining, there's loads going on, there's loads of pressure. And so November and December is gonna be like the most restful, nourishing two months, okay? We're gonna be looking at thriving throughout the holiday and finishing the year strong. So what do you need to finish the year strong rather than limping over the finish line and then spending your Christmas break ill because you pushed yourself too much? That's not to say that we're going to stop. It's not to say that we're not going to strive for goals. It's not to say that we're not going to achieve big things, but it's looking at how do we thrive in the process and how do we do what we want to do and finish strong. So it's all come to me this week. It's all mapped out. It's going to be beautiful. So that will be November and December. And then from next year, we will just be covering different aspects. We'll be looking at relationships. We'll be looking at health. We'll be looking at different mindset things, different nervous system things. This is your one-stop place to figure out how to do all facets of your life your way. And I want to talk quickly about why this program is different to other programs. So first of all, there is the fact that it's going to be small. It is going to be truly supportive of you doing things the way you want to. It's not like come into my program and I'm going to tell you to be all of who you are. And then you get in and I'll be like, no, you can't be all of who you are, actually. You will genuinely be celebrated for doing it your way. And one of the things that I have seen that is such a challenge in personal development spaces is you can go in and you can learn stuff and you can have coaching and then you're sort of left on your own to put it into place 
And so this group will have, we will have a teach call each month, a growth call. There will be a clarity call where you can come and ask your questions and have coaching. I think there's an ambulance or something outside. Um, and there is then going to be an implementation class each month. So the implementation class is where you will come and in real time do the work with me for that month's theme. So you are supported as you do that work. And the other thing that I am bringing in to this program is a weekly reset session. So the weekly reset session will be short. So the other classes will be about an hour. The weekly reset session, weekly reset session will be short. It will be about 15 minutes. And it's going to be every single Monday. You don't need to be there live, but it will be, I will be going live in the Facebook group. And then you can come in whatever time you kind of service on a Monday, depending on the time zone that you are in. And you can start your week strong with me. So we will do beautiful somatic body-based practices to really set you up for the week. But I will also be giving you kind of inspirational things, stuff to think about so that you can really start your week in a good place. And I wanted to bring this to you. So this podcast is coming out on the 26th. If you join this program by the end of this month, you will get until the end of the year included in your 12 month membership until so as in you'll get november and december as part of the 2024 membership so you will receive 14 months of my tailored support for the 12 month membership price and you can find out more about the program in the show notes um and i think i want to leave that there but i just wanted to give a little bit of an overview it's been in the works for a long long time it's very much um a follow-on from the address and unlock stuff that I've done. So we will be touching on big themes, but we'll also be touching on day-to-day things. So I would love to hear from you in terms of any questions that you have. Um, just come and reach out to me however you would normally do so. It isn't about me trying to get you in, but come in, if you're curious, come and ask, come and ask, come and find out what you need. Um, and I look forward to welcoming some of you in to the group. So I think that is my stuff that I wanted to share with you today. You can tell I'm in holiday mode, can't you? (laughs) So follow where life is leading you. Remember that there's never the right time to do anything. There just isn't. We just have to decide we're going to dive in. And the more that you can learn to trust yourself and lean into what you need and follow that path, the easier life will get. So have a beautiful week. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday when we are going to be talking about when we start this work, why we actually start way before the start line. So it's a do not miss. All right. Take care. And I will speak to you soon.